Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to Vlogmas Day 23. So, so close to the end. It is Wednesday. I actually woke up on the earlier side around 7 a.m. and I ate breakfast, had some blueberry oatmeal. I was feeling lazy, didn't want to cut the apple up, and some coffee. And now I'm ready to start my workout for the day. It's only 8 a.m., so starting a little bit early. And I I really have nothing planned for today. Fortunately, I am off work, so we'll have to see where the day takes us. But I just thought I could knock out a nice, good workout this morning. So for my stack for today, I am going to be doing a hardcore full body stack. It is from December 8th. I don't know why I really chose this stack last night. I was thinking I did an arms day yesterday and I was like, I should really do a legs day. And I'm just like, you know what? I don't feel like it, but I still want to get a good workout in. So I'm like, we can do full body. I haven't done a full body stack in a very long time. I actually think I find full body the hardest just because you're like, doing a little bit of everything. I like to focus more on like one target area, but this full body is 30 minutes just Sims, which is very tempting because I really like Jess Sims. So it starts out with a 10 minute core strength class by Jess Sims from September 4th, 2020. Then we go into a 10 minute body weight strength class by Chase Tucker from November 1st, 2021. I definitely think body weight is like the hardest because you're doing like things that will really elevate your heart rate. So essentially it's just like cardio strength. And then afterwards, a 20 minute full body strength class by Jess Sims from January 9th, 2020. That is what is on deck for the strength today. And then I have been super into power zone training lately. I don't really know why. I always liked it and I would always take it like maybe once or twice a week. But recently, like every single ride, I'm just like, I want to do power zone training, especially now because I should be taking like Christmas rides because after Christmas, I'm not going to want to take them. But last night I was just like, I just want to do more power zone training. I did power zone training yesterday as well. I feel like one of the good things about power zone training is that you can kind of just continuously do it because it's not super hard, but you still push yourself. But it's not like the hardest ride ever. Like my outputs are actually fairly low compared to some of the other rides because the recovery is so low. But I really, really enjoy them. Like, I just think it's a really good workout and I just love the longer pushes. Been super into Matt lately. So I'm going to be taking a 45 minute power zone ride by Matt Wilpers from September 15th, 2021. Then afterwards, a five minute cooldown ride with Dennis Morton from September 20th, 2021. Taking this cooldown ride a lot, really like it. You just pedal out the legs. And then a five minute post ride stretch by Ali Love from September 24th, 2021, which I haven't taken the stretch. So we'll have to see how it is, but I'm sure that Ali will not disappoint. So that's the workout plan today. So let's just get right on into it. So I just finished my workout and as always I have many thoughts. So I thought the core strength class with Just Sims was just okay. We kind of repeated a lot of the same moves which I kind of like in core. Sometimes I like it, sometimes I don't. I don't know why but it didn't bother me in this class. What I actually learned from this class which I thought was really interesting was when you're doing bicycles your feet are not supposed to come in closer to your chest than like if you were in dead bug position. So basically like a right angle, I was bringing my knees way closer to my chest and I've never heard an instructor say, don't do that. But she's like, no, that actually makes it easier, which she's right. Cause once I started doing it the other way, it was harder. But I just thought that that was really interesting because you do bicycles in pretty much every single core class. And I've literally never heard that before. So I've just been doing bicycles wrong since I've been taking core on Peloton. So hopefully if you've been doing it wrong, you can now correct it. Maybe take the 10 minute core strength class by Just Sims from September 4th, 2020, if you want some more details but I did think that that was interesting. The 10 minute body weight strength class by Chase, 
I thought was kind of a throwaway class. It wasn't bad. I just didn't think it was great. We just did one circuit four times, so two minutes each. And it wasn't a bad circuit. It was pretty basic. There were squats, lunges, push-ups, and then this like weird pull-up thing. But it just wasn't anything special in my opinion. I wouldn't be like, oh, I should really take that again or oh, I'd recommend it to someone. But it's not like a class to actively avoid. Just felt like it was a throwaway class. And then the 20 minute full body strength class with Jess Sims, I actually really did like. We had three different circuits and at first we would go through each of the moves in the circuit for 45 seconds each. And then we would do an AMRAP for two minutes where we do each move. I think most of the times it was four moves, sometimes it was three a couple of times each and just keep repeating that and I actually really like the format because you could kind of get the form down feel what you were doing when you were just doing the 45 second exercise and then you go into an AMRAP and you can do like it all correctly and hit the form correctly. I do like AMRAPs like obviously I don't like them but I acknowledge that they're good to work out with but sometimes I feel like when you do an AMRAP you're so focused on like trying to learn the move that it's hard to do it correctly and then try to hit a lot of reps so I just felt like this was a really great format that you could learn everything before you like jumped right into the AMRAP so you kind of got the best of both worlds. So I did really really enjoy that class and I would highly recommend. Just overall full body strength, body weight strength, they are hard. I definitely like focusing on one thing but these classes were not bad and it was nice to mix it up. And then the 45 minute power zone ride with Matt was good. It sounded like it was going to be harder than it actually was so the main set was 10 minutes one minute zone five, one minute zone two, and you repeat that five times. And then the second set was 30 seconds zone five, 30 seconds zone two, and you repeated that eight times. And then the last set was just the first set 10 minutes again. And then there was three minutes zone one break in between. It actually sounded like that was going to be really hard to me. Zone five is hard for me, but the zone two actually was a pretty good recovery. Like obviously it wasn't the best, but I felt like I could keep going and like I pushed through it. And it was a hard workout, but it was doable. Like at first I was like, oh my gosh, I'm going to die and I didn't die but it was definitely hard but I did enjoy it I really like the power zone training there's just something about it I've really been enjoying it lately and then my peloton decided to be annoying and I've talked about this problem before but it hasn't actually happened to me in a while but it did happen today so I did my power zone ride fine and then instead of like having an option to continue the stack it only shows me that I can show my workout details and I'm like oh no and then basically from then on it's just a brick like you have to restart the peloton like it won't let you start any classes I don't know if it disconnects from the internet or what like we don't have internet problems but all you have to do to fix it is turn the peloton off and on but honestly that takes so long like it takes like five minutes to turn it off and then turn it back on and just for a cooldown it's not worth it so I just queued up the cooldown on my phone and just wrote it out like taking a little resistance off like obviously Obviously not perfect but if I waited the full five minutes my heart rate would also have already decreased so I just did the cool down and then I also did the stretch on my phone so the cool down was good I've done it before Dennis no complaints and then the stretch I also liked you do start on the bike again but I had a feeling you might so I just started the class without getting off the bike and then she's like we're staying on the bike and I'm like yes so we did a couple moves on the bike we did a couple moves off the bike it felt really good I will say it's not only Ali Love, a lot of instructors do this, like the figure four stretch where you take like a foot and you make a four with it while you're standing. I try to lean into that stretch as much as possible and I just really don't feel anything. So if you have any tips on like what I can do to try to feel something, like I just feel nothing stretch and I try to like lean back into it as much as possible. But that's one of the stretches, one of the only stretches where I just can't feel the stretch at all. So overall a pretty good workout day liked the strength like the power zone ride it's annoying when the peloton like doesn't function but it's okay wasn't a big deal it's worse when it's like i'm stacking two 30 minute classes and then i have to like actually restart the bike like i can do a cool down without actually seeing it on the screen so not the worst thing in the world so i'm going to shower now and i'll see you guys when i eat lunch for lunch today we got the classic smoothie bowl and i actually use frozen bananas so it's a little more solid than usual which is always good and then I already made myself some pomegranate oolong tea just because I know this is going to make me cold so then I just need to drink it with something hot I feel like is that good for your body to like eat super cold things and drink super hot things I don't know but it is necessary hello friend oh I see you value mom more 
I see how it is. Chat. Has he ever done that before? Yeah. First time for everything. I am now here with my mom and Luca. We're just, you know, enjoying the nice outdoors. But she did not ride today, but she rode yesterday, and I didn't vlog yesterday, so she wanted to tell you guys about her ride. So what ride did you do? So I did a Hannah Frankson uh, festive ride from last year, uh, December 13, 2020, 30 minutes. Uh, it was good. I don't like any of the women as much as I like the male instructors. Uh, but I will say that I like the instructors on the female side from the UK better than from the US for whatever reason. Yeah, I like UK instructors more in general yeah, for the men as well. Yeah. I think the American instructors are more in your face. I would agree. And yeah. I don't like that. Yeah. yeah, I don't either. I think, But I think that is like the personality difference oh, maybe. between the two. Yeah, so it was a festive ride and she billed it as like a soundtrack to your office Christmas party. And I thought that was a good description because there were a couple of Christmas songs, but then it just had some nice, you know, upbeat, you know, music. So it wasn't all holiday music, but it had a nice blend. And, uh, you know, I could see myself at a holiday party to that soundtrack. That seems so odd. I don't get why they would only play like half Christmas music. And they call it festive. So it wasn't billed as a holiday ride or, you know, so it was good. I enjoyed it. Well, maybe I'll take that ride tomorrow. I like Hannah Frankston, so I'd probably like her ride. Yeah, I like her too. I like her too. You just said you don't like her that much. I like her of the women. I don't, you know. I just did a video ranking all of the Peloton instructors, so I won't make you rank all of them, but let's hear your top five. I don't know if I can name five, but my top one would be Sam Yao, and then I probably like... I probably like Dennis Morton second. What? You've taken like one ride uh, with well, Dennis and now still, Bradley is just yeah, getting pushed Bradley to the Rose side? Bradley Rose third and then Ben Aldis fourth and then probably Hannah fifth. Okay, wow. Um, <laughs> is that just because those are who you've taken yeah, recently? recently yeah, I think tomorrow I have Allie Love in a holiday ride from last year, so well, I'll check her out. I don't think I've ever done a 30-minute ride with her. I've just done cool downs and stretches. I like Allie Love, but... I have a feeling you won't like her based off of what you've said about other instructors. Yeah, but I we'll like have the to see. Back instructors. I, you know, I'm the, there to ride. I'm not there to, I don't know. Yeah. Well, guess Stay we'll report tuned. back tomorrow. <laughs> I am going to take a Christmas ride tomorrow. I've kind of been off of them, but I need to get back on the grind before Christmas comes. Yeah, I'm running out of time. What? I only got three more. Oh yeah, Christmas. rumor has it that on the 25th, they're going to drop a Taylor Swift artist series. Well, I know they said they had one more for 2021 and they didn't name that. Either. Yeah, they it's going to be like a big good. one. I yeah. think last year they dropped the Beatles on Christmas. Oh, oh. So, well, Taylor Swift would be yeah, a good one. Fingers crossed. I'd be very happy. Also, yesterday I just took a damp paper towel and wiped off the charcuterie board. So now it feels good. Like it doesn't feel oily but it feels very smooth, ready to have some cheeses on it. It is now already like 2.30 p.m., having a very chill, relaxing day. I actually made some iced coffee. My dad makes a pot of hot coffee every morning, and there's usually a little bit left over because I just choose a random mug, and then I just fill it to the top. Like, I don't drink the same amount of coffee every day. So then sometimes I'll like pour it into an extra cup and keep it in the fridge and wait for there to be enough so I have iced coffee. And today is just a lucky day. So got some iced coffee, put vanilla creamer and a little bit of half and half. Oh yeah, that's better than expected. Sometimes iced coffee is just nice. Like I like a good hot coffee. And especially in this weather, I like a good hot coffee. But then if you haven't had iced coffee in a while, it just hits different. And I haven't had iced coffee since I've been home. So going to drink this iced coffee. I don't usually drink two coffees a day, but sometimes I do. It's not like super rare. Besides that, I have been watching Emily in Paris season two. It just came out today. It is so campy and I love it. You cannot tell me it's a bad show because... 
it's just perfect. Like they're going for camp and they achieve it. I really liked Riverdale. I haven't watched like the last two seasons, but I liked it when it first came out. I also thought that was like good campy, but now it's kind of gotten bad. But so far, I just really enjoy Emily with Paris. I think it's a very lighthearted show. And I like that it comes out around Christmas time. Like it's fun to watch. So that's what I've been doing now until, you know, something more interesting happens. It is much later now. It's after after dinner, dinner was super good. We had this like Italian seasoned chicken, pierogies, and Brussels sprouts. We also call my brother sometimes during dinner because he lives in Virginia so we can't like easily see him all the time so it was nice to hear what was up with him. And then my mom made a coffee cake yesterday which basically just tastes like a cinnamon roll and it is very good so I had some of that for dessert. This afternoon, I actually called my friend Josiah and we played a game called We Are Here Together on the computer. It's a puzzle game, so you only play it once. And this was our second time playing it. So there's like 10 levels and we ended on level seven because we were having internet issues. So we we're just like, okay, we can stop for today. And there's probably like one more time that we'll play it and then we're gonna finish it. It's not like a super long game, but it's a pretty hard puzzle game. Like I feel like I've played a couple of different puzzle games and I'm definitely not super skilled on the computers, but in the grand scheme of things, we already probably played for like four or five hours. So each puzzle is averaging us like 45 minutes to solve. So it is kind of hard, but it's a lot of fun and it's nice to just like play co-op games. I really like when you like work with somebody else. So that was a ton of fun. And then I've been watching Emily in Paris. I just finished episode five. So I watched five episodes a day, which is quite a lot. I usually don't like binge TV, but I don't really have that much else to do. And I also like the show and it's so easy to like play and do other things in the background too. Because unless if they're speaking in French, you don't really need to pay attention to what's happening because it's basically like nothing is happening. But I still highly, highly recommend the show. I also finished the Gracier book today and I don't know how I feel about it. Right when I started it, I really liked it. It like sucked me in a lot. And then I read the whole thing very quickly, so it did keep me engaged, but I don't know how I feel about the ending. Like, I think that the author wants you to think it's a happy ending, but I don't know if I think it's a happy ending. I just feel like it's very odd, and it's kind of left open that there would be a second book, but I googled it, and that doesn't seem to be the author's intentions. So I'm not exactly sure. Universal Studios did buy the rights, I believe, to make it a movie, so... That will be interesting. I really don't know how I feel about the book. Right when I finished it, I was like, oh yeah, that was good. But now that I've like let it sit for like a day, I'm like, I don't know. I don't like it. I don't know how I feel about it. If you've read the book, like, let me know. I don't want to spoil anything if you haven't read it. I would recommend like reading it if you just want something that's like very fast paced. Like it did engage me a lot and it was hard to put down. So you have to give it credit for that because not every book can do that. But now I'm back to like what book do I read next? I have a lot of books on my TBR. I just haven't decided yet. So maybe I will decide that tonight. But my immediate plan is to wrap up this Vlogmas and then take a bath. And I have been drinking this Maker Can wine that my company sent me. And I actually really, really like it. Like this is so much better than a lot of other wines that I have that have not been in a can. I'm so surprised. The one I'm drinking tonight is a 2019 Zinfandel from Paso Robles, California by Janelle Dussy. They sent me two of every flavor, so I've tried each flavor and now I'm like going on the repeats. And I think this is my favorite one, which is surprising because I usually like white wines more than red wines, but I really, really enjoy this wine. I actually looked it up to see if I could get more, but it's quite expensive. It's like $10 a can of wine. And I guess like their thing is that it is like premium wine, but am I really gonna pay $10 for a can of wine? Like, no. So the end of the road will come when I finish my last three cans, but I was gonna take a nice bath, have a nice can of wine and just relax for the rest of the night. So I'm going to wrap up Vlogmas here. I can't believe that it is already day 23. I hope you guys had a fantastic Wednesday and I will see you tomorrow in my next video. Bye!